go new and then directory and name it exactly like this capital M lowercase e lowercase d lowercase i lowercase a so it's media with a capital M it has to be spelled just like that and then hit OK and you'll have the media folder okay now what you gotta do is we're gonna create things called uh, SYM links. What that means is that if a program looks here into the media folder to run, well, obviously there's nothing in this folder since we just made it. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the program to not look here, but we're going to tell it to look here and where the media folder is now located. So to do this, go to commands and open up terminal. I told you to do it previously. And just hit OK. And do this thing. Okay. Now you gotta go to this link that I'm going to give you in the description of the video because you're gonna have to put in a lot of code. And I don't like to memorize the code. So, here we go. Let me boot up my internet. I've got the page bookmarked, but again, I'll put it in the description of the video. Also, this link is uh, basically what I'm showing you in the video, only in text. So if you like don't understand something that I'm saying, you can just go to this link that it's in the description, and it'll walk you through it. But see, so here's the step we're on right now: create SYM links between media and library. Okay, so here's all your codes. So what you're gonna do is you can just start at the top, select what's inside this code box here, and just right-click and copy. Go back to an SCP and it'll say enter command just paste in the code right next to it and then click execute okay now click back into the command so just click there and then just hit the backspace button just like erase everything in there now go and do the second code paste it in execute it and delete it delete what's in there and third code execute and this is tedious work but it's necessary 1.1.4 it'll work all nice just paste, execute, and two more. Copy, edit, paste, execute, and last but not least, copy, and paste and execute. Okay, so once you're done putting in all those codes that you get from the site, just hit close. And then, once you're done with that, you're going to restart your iPod Touch. Just word for the wise, whenever you do anything in WinSCP or Qt FTP or whatever, right all the way turned off. Okay. Whenever you're accessing the iPod files, once you're done, be sure to restart your iPod. Now once it turns off, this will pull up in WinSCP. It says server unexpectedly closed network connection. Well, it's kind of obvious your iPod just turned off. So, so we turn it back on and we wait some more. Okay, so um, once your iPod turns back on, iTunes is going to come up and yell at you. Let's wait for iTunes to come. And there it is. And hit again. Reject. And you can just hit uh, reconnect on this error message that pulled out from an SCP. And it'll take you back in. Oh, wait. I went to sleep. That's not good. That was not safe at all for me. Don't log in until you're out of the slides on lock screen. Like, nothing happened because I wasn't editing the files, but it's better safe than sorry.
Now then, customize the application. It doesn't really work very well in 1.1.4. Like, you can try if you go to that site with all the codes. It's got a couple of methods of getting customized. It's pretty buggy, so I really don't like it just because customize, customize was risky on all the other ones. And using it on a firmware that's not supported, that just kind of creeps me out. So I don't really like doing that. But the next thing on the list is to do summer board. Now, summer board is pretty easy. I'm just going to minimize one SCP, minimize that. Okay. Okay, summer board. We're going to do this same way as iPod Touchmaster did in his vid in video. Okay, go install. Ah, don't go on it. I keep hitting that button. Okay. All packages. Scroll down. You know what? I'm gonna save myself some time. This one's under system. I know this folder. System. And go down to summer board. Okay, and you're going to install. It's going to install. Okay, I'm just going to say, you must restart your iPhone for the changes to take effect. Just hit OK. Don't restart your iPod. Okay, now you have to have added that source that I put that I showed you earlier when we were testing whether or not everything, uh, whether or not the keyboard was working. You have to have that. And then once you get it, scroll down to Summer Board Fix and click SMB Themes Fix. Hit install at the top and install that. And it might say main script execution failed. Don't worry, it worked. Now, I realize in iPod Touchmaster's video, he told you that if that pulls up, that it didn't work and that you have to go install BSD subsystem. But as you know, we've already got BSD subsystem installed. So uh, when it says main script execution, it works. Okay, so just hit the home button and it'll go back and now restart your iPhone or iPod Touch. This works for iPhones too, by the way. Not just iPod Touches, but I don't have an iPhone. It's just and what else if he's gonna yell at you again? Disconnected. Just turn your iPod back on. Okay, and iTunes is yet again going to pull up. And you know what? This is getting kind of annoying just because every time I click in. So, what I'm going to do is just click on the name of your iPod, and I'm going to uncheck open iTunes when this iPod is connected just because it's getting kind of annoying. Or actually, you know what? Don't do that. Change my mind. Because then you need iTunes up just so that you can eject it. So, never mind. Exit iTunes and reconnect and win SCP. And once more, I forgot to slide to unlock first. But there we go. Okay, so now in iPod Touchmaster's tutorial, some board works at this point. Wait, some board. But guess what? This isn't iPod Touchmaster's tutorial. This is my tutorial. And it doesn't work. So, apply a theme like I just did. And then, once you slide to unlock, turn off your iPod again. And turn it back on again. You have to turn your iPhone off, or iPod, a lot. It's kind of annoying, but. Turn on. Okay, and here comes iTunes again. Okay. 